I hereby introduce to you, Mr. Michael Vesey. So now, talking of um, the, the strategic, as you would call it, the strategic level thing, so which marketplaces you sell into, um, what is your opinion on selling into the USA right now if you're a UK-based seller? We think it's a good, it's a good thing. Um, we think it now is the best time for UK sellers to be targeting to the US. And the simple reason is that the exchange rates have not been this low for 30 years. And we're seeing that the GB, the pound is continuing to weaken against the US. You know, we don't know how long that's going to go on for, but a weak pound helps UK sellers because it means that you've less dollars in sales are required to make each pound of turnover back in your pocket. Um, or you can get more pounds back for the same amount of dollars. So many of our clients are acting quickly and using the tools available to lock in the current favorable exchange rate. In fact, we're actually running a webinar next week with Newegg and we are Pentagon to help sellers show how simple it is to trade in the US to help them get that head start there and, and show how easy it can be for them to do that. Okay, so let's assume I start off with a pot of about, um, say, £3,000 or something like that. Or let's, let's say $5,000 or whatever that is. It's probably more like £4,000 now, sadly, isn't it? Um, yeah. And I want to start an, an Amazon business. I'm based in the UK. I want to sell stock in the US, in US dollars, and I'm going to buy stock in um, China, which is the normal place where most of the world's manufacturing is done, I guess. Yeah. Um, say 80% of the world's manufacturing is done there. And uh, I'm going to buy in US dollars from the Chinese. So is that a good situation for us right now as UK based sellers? Uh, yes, you're, you're going to be making more money from the US. Yeah. You may be losing out a little bit in terms of buying from China. Yes. Yeah, so, but it, so it will balance each other out. Right. Um, and we can help you, we can help do what we can to help mitigate that risk and, uh, you know, offer some guidance on what you should do. So there are, like you say, there are pros and cons, admittedly. Great. Okay. 